Good morning, we're in John chapter 10 uh, today, looking at some famous words uh, of Jesus. In verse 11, he says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Uh, and later on, um, he carries on and says, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. Jesus uh, doesn't say these things in a vacuum. Um, he doesn't just use shepherd imagery because he's uh, speaking uh, to farm workers or uh, to those who'd be working the land and this is familiar imagery. Um, Jesus is constantly alluding to the Old Testament. The New Testament um, can't be read on its own. It's full of the, this rich background of imagery and words, um, pictures from the Old Testament. I, I just want to uh, help us this morning, just fill up some of that imagery. So when you read these, these words, you've got some of that in your mind. It's a great picture of Jesus being being the shepherd but just let it let this just fill your fill that up uh, as you focus on him this morning as you look to him as you start your day um just let this fill up your uh, imagery of uh, jesus as the good shepherd and we can think about psalm 23 we know that and that's that's great but it's probably not what jesus has uh, got in his uh, mind when he's saying these verses we're going to look at Jeremiah and Ezekiel in a minute we'll start uh, with Isaiah 40 and um, go on up to a high mountain O Zion herald of good news lift up your voice with strength for Jerusalem herald of good news you could translate that gospel good news the gospel lift it up fear not say to the cities of Judah behold your God that's the gospel in the old testament that God is coming uh, as the rescuer as the savior as the king and it says behold the Lord comes with might his arm rules for him behold his reward is with him his recom recompense before him he will tend his flock like a shepherd he'll gather the lambs in his arms he'll carry them in his bosom and gently lead those that are young what does it look like when God comes to reign is this mighty one who's coming to save, but he's also this tender shepherd, comes, picks us up, carries us, um, gives, keeps us close, is with us, cares for us, looks after us, provides for us. And we get to Ezekiel and Jeremiah. Now, this is at a time um, as Israel is in great sin um, leading up to the exile and the the leaders of the people aren't doing a very good job aren't pointing people to to god or abusing their position as leaders um and priests and actually god saying you, you're not good shepherds you're doing harm uh, to the sheep of my people um and in jeremiah 23 uh, god says woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture declares the lord he goes on he says uh, talk about the salvation he says then i'll gather the remnant of the flock out of all the countries where i've driven them and i'll bring them back to their fold and they shall be fruitful and multiply that's the what god says to to adam and eve go and be fruitful and multiply so we're getting this the salvation of god bring us back to that uh, eden uh, like stay i will set shepherds over them who will care for them they shall fear no more nor be dismayed neither shall any be missing declares the lord behold the days are coming declares the lord when i'll raise up for david a righteous branch he shall reign as king and deal wisely exclude justice and righteousness in the land in his days judah will be saved and israel does securely and this is the name by which he record the lord is our righteousness this king uh from david's line is coming uh, as the rescuer as the good shepherd who's not going to lose anyone um who's going to bring us into this uh, salvation and he's going to be our righteousness does that remind you of anybody and we get to ezekiel 34 again in a similar context for this says the lord behold i i myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out it's going to bring them back from exile and bring them back into the land and save his people as a shepherd seeks out his flock when he's among his sheep that have been scattered so will i seek out my sheep 
I'll rescue them from all places where they've been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I'll bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and bring them into their own land. I'll feed them on the mountains of Israel by ravines and in all inhabited places of the country. I'll feed them with good pasture on mountain heights of Israel should be their grazing land. They shall lie down in good grazing land and on rich pasture they shall feed on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep and I will, myself will make them lie down, declares the Lord. I'll seek the lost, I'll bring back the strayed, I'll bind up the injured, I'll strengthen the weak and the fat and the strong I'll destroy. I will feed them in justice. That's who our God is. The shepherd comes and seeks the lost. Jesus says, I've come uh, to seek and save that which is lost. I'll bring back the strayed. Feel like you've strayed a bit. I'll bind up the injured, feeling wounded, injured. I'll strengthen the weak. We need strength from God. This is our God. This is the God who seeks us out. Think of the Jesus parable uh, the good of the shepherd who goes after the one, leaves the 99 um, and comes after the one. This is this is what your God's like. This is where when Jesus is saying, I'm the good shepherd. This is what he's saying. He's saying, I'm, I'm the God of Israel and I've come to save you. I've come myself to come and save you and I'm going to gather you up i'm going to uh, speak tenderly to you i'm going to bind your wounds i'm going to care for you i'm going to provide for you and how does that how how does that happen how do we benefit from that well you get this almost this little taste of it in zachariah 11 is where um zachariah he says to zachariah become the shepherd of the flock doomed to slaughter this this shepherd is going to is going to going to die and Jesus says you know I'm good shepherd I lay my life down for the sheep and because the good shepherd has come and laid his life down for the sheep has risen again uh, has ascended to the father um, and now with faith in him we can be united with him by faith because of his grace we don't have to earn anything we can just we don't have to pay him back we just come and put our faith and our trust in him uh, we can come under the care of the good shepherd who's for us who loves us uh, who'll provide for us who'll bind up our wounds give us strength feed us uh, um, give us water to drink living water to drink that's who we come to this morning. Um, let that comfort you uh, this morning as you know the good shepherd with you, whatever your situation is this morning. Let's pray. Uh, Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for salvation in him. Thank you for grace and mercy that we've received. Thank you that he is the good shepherd who's come to rescue us, who came to lay his down, life down for us, God. And thank you that salvation is found in him. Thank you that it's all of grace and all we have to do is put our faith in him god would we know you as the good shepherd uh, today as we go the one who gives us strength the one who cares for us the one who's for us who provides for us and who ultimately is with us wherever we go in jesus name amen